Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Neil Patel and Eric Sue. Hello, hello. All right. So thank you all for coming. Those of, those of you that don't know, this is Neil over here. It's myself. We do a podcast called Marketing School. And uh, Neil, I'm just gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna throw random topics out there because this is this will also be on the Marketing School podcast. So the first one, you ready? All right. All right. What do we think about AI right now? Because all the talks in the morning were dedicated to AI. So AI is not bad. It's great to help you generate ideas. It's, help you, it's great to help you get started, but there's a few issues. One, a lot of the content that AI produces is duplicate. If you run it through CopyScape, you'll see that it is duplicate. And Eric has a good example of this, of him testing out if human written content was AI generated or not. And it's just so inaccurate. You can talk about that in a little bit. But the second issue, and this is the biggest issue with AI, there's actually two big issues. The first big issue is AI is only as good as its data set. Google, Microsoft, they have a lot of inaccurate data in their search engines. Anytime you search, there's a good chance within the first few pages, some of the results are inaccurate. That's okay. Search engines continually improve and they get rid of inaccurate data over time. It's gone better over the last three years, five years, 10 years, but it's still not perfect. If AI is crawling inaccurate data and giving responses based on that, sometimes the responses are wrong. Great example of this is Google Bard. When it first came out, someone saw that something was wrong with one of Google's responses in Bard and their stock tanked by over a billion dollars. And that's gonna be hard for them to fix over the next few years. The other issue with AI is even if you crank out content using AI and you have all these ideas, Search engines and social platforms are already good at drowning out the noise. Creating content isn't enough. It has to be amazing and unique. It needs experience, expertise, authority, and trust. And that's hard to do with AI. You need to do that manually. So if you want to leverage tools like ChatGPT, by all means, go ahead. But still take the time to modify the content and make it amazing. Yeah, so I'll give the long term and then we'll move on to the next topic. So long term, Neil alluded to this, but... If you're a company and you have interesting data, let's say you're like Gong, they do sales intelligence, or you're like a HubSpot or something, the data that you have is actually what the oil is, right? People say data is the new gold, data is the new oil. So whatever you, AI is going to be a supercharger for all that, right? What we're seeing right now is ChatGPT, they're scanning everything, they're crawling everything. ChatGPT is good for a couple things, right? You can write subject lines. We found a good use case for it for actually for marketing school. I was telling Neil about it, where this episode itself we would actually throw it onto something that will create a transcription for us. I talked about this on the stage over there, but once we have the transcription, we'll tell ChatGPT to summarize it for us, and then it'll summarize it into a blog post, and then we throw it into a duplicate content checker, and 96% of it is unique because it's coming from us talking about something unique, right? That's a way to get started with it, but that's still not enough on its own. Like, we're still gonna need to have editors, we're still gonna need to have people like designing things, so the human is still gonna be very much the last mile. So, I think what we're seeing with AI right now is very preliminary. I think it's a little overhyped. And like I said over there, I think marketers like to overhype things. But I haven't seen anyone get mind-blowing results quite yet with AI. But that's going to change in the next couple of years.